breakfast of champions. I'm a little thirsty. Yes. <laughs> cup of coffee, no water yet. And what else do I have for breakfast? An apple turnover. An apple turnover. And now it's time to, I was going to say make the donuts, make some pretzels. <sighs> but no videos inside this place, so therefore, lots of pictures. And we'll tell you all about it. Yes. If you're ever in Lettuce, Pennsylvania, stop by this factory and take the tour. But here's something that's interesting. If memory serves me correct, Julius had 12 kids by two wives, and each had six and had the same name. And all of his children helped in making pretzels. we couldn't show you inside was we just made pretzels. Oh look, paparazzi taking a picture of herself. This is where we were. Yes. We are bona fide pretzel twisters. Yes. Another certificate. What? Nothing. So why are you just staring at me? Because I'm making more pictures. Okay, fine, fine. More pictures. So must be gone. <laughs> okay, talk time. I have already taken a bite. Um, it was good. Of delicious Sturgis Bakery. I don't know why I, my mind just Julius disappeared. Julius Sturgis. Julius Sturgis Factory. Did I say bagel? Pretzel. No, you said bakery. Okay. So hold on. So, here's a story about this bakery. We used to come and visit this place, Lancaster, uh, in Pennsylvania, for many, many years as a um, you know, family vacation. Once a year or something. It wasn't for the whole time of our marriage, but then... Maybe midway, we discovered, came down here to go to, um... Hershey? No, it wasn't Hershey. Sight and Sound, I think, is the reason why we first came down here. We stayed at Hershey, Hershey Farm Inn. And then there were a few things that, you know, my wife and I would look at. And one of the places we wanted to go to, two places we never got to after everything else we did, was this factory and the, uh, I think it's Wilbur Chocolate Factory as well. 
and we always wanted to go to, so we didn't get there. And so I said, one of these days we're going to come down here. And I thought about it like maybe a year ago, and it didn't happen. And then when this year started, I was like, ooh, in between the times that we hike, let's take a road trip and go down there. So to that's what we did. We spent three hours to come down for a 30-minute tour. <laughs> it took us about two minutes to make up to, to make the little pretzel we didn't even really make the pretzel um we we would learn we learned how to make the pretzel but then you know what we made you didn't bake someone else was in the act actually making the soft pretzel so we learned the whole big old history maybe sometime later um we'll discuss that whole history of this of the uh, of the pretzel factory and even the the twisted pretzel and in, in, in Here's a great thing about this is that this was the first pretzel bakery. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's not non-commercial because later on uh, there were commercial bakeries. And then when you talk about the time, so it may be nice to add in also some history of the time period of when it was happening and when this guy came in and uh, built his bakery. So we finally got to get here and the pretzel is really, really good. About a year, no? It would be two years ago because 2020, nobody went anywhere, right? So two years ago, we were down in this area and we stopped and uh, it was like a Friday night. <laughs> it was like a Friday night and I don't know where we were going, but we were staying down here and it was like all these cars are lined up. So, oh, let's go get some price, a pretzel, a pretzel and ice cream. So we went to this little spot where apparently all of the, the Amish were going. Oh, yeah. The New Order Amish. Yes. And uh, we stopped in there to try to get some food. But by the time we got there, people were getting off work and the farms were shutting down. And it was like this whole... There were some people on a motorcycle. I think it was like a boy and a girl. Or was it two boys and a girl? And I was like, do your parents know that you're out here? Yeah, it was like... I, I, I lived in Atlanta briefly many, many years ago. And it's like this whole strip. I'm assuming like L.A. And it's like this whole strip where cars were lined up. That's what it felt like. It was like this long strip of everybody up there. Buggies were coming by. And all of them stopping at this one little spot to get ice cream. And so we stayed there. We went there for Some a little bit. Some of them worked there, too. Yeah. And so we got there shortly. But just like sun, the sun was going down. So there was a lot of people in there packed getting ice creams. And so we had that. And um, I think that was our dinner that night. Because we didn't eat anything. Yeah. And that was our dinner. And... Um, yeah, was that the day that we stayed at that the campsite? The rustic, the rustic campsite. That was it. That was a year it of the rustic camp. Yeah, I think it was, and we were hungry, and so we stopped over there and filled our bellies, and with some good ice cream. Anyway, so it's always nice to come back down to this area and stop by certain places, and um, so yeah, we purposely made the trip of three hours. So <laughs> this is really the all day. All day road trip for a pretzel. But we did buy a bag of some pretzels and a mug. Two mugs. Yeah. So how did you like it with the history lesson? It was good. It was really fun. There were jokes being made. Good jokes. Pretzel jokes. Pretzel jokes. I love Stop shaking the camera. Let me hold that for you. Go ahead, pretzel jokes. Trying joke. to react. Okay. Listen. People dad jokes like Wow, they gotta be dad jokes now? Dry humor. That is like the funniest thing ever to me. So the pretzel jokes, 10 out of 10. And then the history. I love the history um, of what the monks did with teaching the kids how to do the pretzel. Um, the Christian history of how the twist became into the pretzel, which was showing them how to pray. So you cross your arms at that time and you pray. And so that's the reason for the twist in the pretzel. Well, for it, before the twist, it was, you know, the you roll it out, go, right. and then you turn it into a... A U. A, a U. This is, <laughs> you, you have a W. A U. You throwing up gang signs? Um, and then that represents your prayers going out and upward. And then it was the cross, which was when you pray, they would, they used to get on their knees and cross their arms, so then that would be it. And then, they, and then you'd twist it, and that represented, what was it, their relationship with their parents? I think so. And then I mean, you fold it over, and then you flip it so that the two ends are sticking upward like this. It's pretty cool. And so when you go inside the store, 
um, the shirts that they wear and the masks, because everybody's wearing masks these days, but the shirts that they wear will have the pretzel, as we usually look at the pretzel in a twist going down, their pretzels are turned around the other way because you have those three holes with the twists, right? So to, if you take a pretzel and you turn it around, then you have the three holes and the three holes represented what? Come on, come on. The Holy Trinity. The Holy Trinity. It's Father. upside down because God is supposed to be at the top. Right. So that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. So it was good to learn something new today. But yes. All right, well, that is it for this moment. Plus, oh, I have one more thing. What? Plus, if you're going, they they have merch, merchandise. One of my favorite merch. things that I saw, I didn't buy it, but they had pretzel earrings in there. They did? Mm -hmm. Oh, why did you get the pretzel earrings? Because we were, like, already paying once I saw it, and I was like, okay, no, I don't want Oh. But, yeah. It's a tiny little house where the bakery began. But anyway, we'll probably talk to you about a little bit more about that later. But now it's time to hit the road back north. Just the part where you cut the camera. <laughs> oh. <laughs> The Puddle Jumper had not been on the road for a long trip in nearly a year and was grounded for over a month due to issues with my registration. So that trip down to get the pretzel was a shakedown to see how it would do in a long journey and after sitting for about a month I had to relearn how to drive and we hadn't hiked in a while so Cheesequake was going to be out first time.